All right, along with every holiday celebration comes the sometimes excruciating wait at the airport. Yeah, and this year, as security around the world tightens, you can expect those lines to actually get a little longer. Leah Lynch joins us from the Dane County Airport with what Madison Flyers might have to deal with, Leah. Hi, Eric and Michelle. Well, for the Monday before Thanksgiving, it's pretty dead here at Dane County, and you can expect it to stay this way for the rest of the week. Directors here say they only see about a 10% bump in business ahead of that holiday weekend. But at airports across the country, you can also expect to see heightened security. And within the last hour here, the U.S. State Department issued a worldwide traveler alert asking residents to exercise vigilance when in public places or using any transportation. So that means longer lines at the airport. Inside Madison's airport, there's plenty of people with plenty to be thankful for. Good food and lots of wine. Yes, <laughs> lots of wine. I'm thankful for my family and all the support that they give me. Something else to appreciate, a safe arrival for family and friends, and hardly any lines for the weary traveler. Weary travelers, though, will notice security a notch higher at major U.S. airports. Military personnel in the airports definitely increase security all over New York City. Just everywhere you go, um, heightened bag checking, walking through. Escalated security efforts this holiday season follow the attacks in Paris and other threats of terror around the world. Right before we left, when we were on the plane waiting to get on, there was like on the news boards like these messages saying that like, there had already been bombings like in Paris. 46 million Americans will board flights bound for family gatherings this week. Here, about 5,000 a day, with little impact on Madison's safety procedures. But from an airport perspective, we're, we're, we're planning on business as usual for our security and screening. It definitely made me feel better seeing all of the policemen and stuff there yes. with the arms, with the everything it just made me feel more comfortable. Madison Flyers forecasting a tougher TSA presence though say it's just another reason to give thanks. Of course it's inconvenient you have to plan for that especially if you're a frequent traveler but but at the end of the day I still think that it's it's a necessity. I'm glad that we can just keep on living our normal life and not being in fear. Now that worldwide travel alert doesn't expire until February 24th of next year. Again, it's asking residents here to take a special care when they're in public places or using any sort of transportation. Just a reminder there. And if you're looking to cut down your wait time here at the airport, a tip, make sure you know what you can and can't take on that flight. It could cut down your time at the security check. We have a link on Channel 3000 to help you pick what to pack. Erica and Michelle. It's always stressful to travel, but mm -hmm. you've got to be especially patient and smart this holiday. Thank you, Leah.